When Banksy began ten or so years ago as a nothing vandal in our society, graffiti had a label as being unsociable reflections of the uneducated. Thanks to his infamous street art, eyes have been opened to graffiti. The narrow-mindedness that has burdened previous street artists has been defeated. Today, Banksy has a huge body of work behind him, ranging from the unusual, the witty, and to the damn right brilliant, all of which still holds the same ethics and humour as it did in the beginning. But what's changed is Banksy's become an accepted vandal, so he's no longer this graffiti terrorist. He's become this um, household name and also a very, very rich man. Further, it seems that his satire of the institution has become contradicted at late by the recent events surrounding his art. Everything he strived to avoid and discredit appears to be slowly entering the business side of his work. For example, at this present time, Banksy is exhibitioning at one of London's most prestigious uh, gallery spaces for contemporary art. The likes of Warhol, uh, Picasso, Hockney have all filled this space. And it feels a bit of a jump to suddenly be in this most uh, pretentious art gallery from being on the walls of society. Well, I think you can see a direct connection, the fact that um, the gallery is going to almost be like a shop for people to walk in. The upper echelon of society can just walk in and pay highly inflated prices. For In terms of the prices, um, the fact that they're selling and nobody's questioning the prices and uh, nobody's even really saying, you know, any comments about how they've risen in price. It just seems now that his shows are becoming headline-grabbing, over-exaggerated exhibitions that are only attracting a certain section of society. And because of who it attracts, his works are, that were once gifts to society are being sold, most notably. 113,000 to one certain Angelina Jolie. This has set the benchmark for the rest and a week after that Banksy took his pieces to auction and to sell multiple pieces of works at London Solby's auction house, a very um, prestigious uh, posh auction house. Further examples lie of his posh 20 quid a pop hardcover book that he's released and also not even to mention the corporate um, commissions that he's done for people like Puma and MTV. This all just seems to be discrediting Banksy and it highly undermines his stance and ethics. So yes, Banksy has gained fame and rightly so, but at what cost? Has he sold out? Perhaps, inevitably, some of those who shared some of Banksy's wild views have turned on him for being a sellout because his reputation rides on him keeping his own integrity. But what's caused most of the controversy is the fact that Banksy can be connected to Puma. Space Hijackers, an anti-corporate group, had this to say. It seems the lure of corporate-sponsored cool can even lure those that you fought immune. I think we will appreciate that Banksy has to pay the bills, but I can't help but think that he's a self-styled graffiti terrorist, so how can he maintain his anti-establishment ethics if he's selling his uh, work to the highest bidder. But then again I think about it, I think the work that he's selling in galleries are only re-representations of his work. His real work is the whole process of making his piece on the street from beginning to end and then the contact and the connection it has with the urban dweller. Now for this reason I think it's a bit harsh to say that Banksy is sold out. He's created so much quality work over the years and why can't an artist make a living? Why can't they earn money from work that they've created? It's only going to be sold by frauds over the black market or over the internet, so I think it's only right that Banksy should capitalise on his own success. Further, I don't even think Banksy's getting involved with the art establishment because, I mean, I've never seen his work exhibitioned at the Tate Modern. I just believe he's selling these cheap imitations of his, of his real work to take advantage of the opportunity that he's being given. Even if Banksy is moving slowly towards the establishment, there are positives of this. 
I mean, his, his arguably his best work has come after this surge of money. His graffiti he did on the West Bank, the division between Israel and Palestine. The fact that this money has added more depth to his work and allowed him to work on a bigger canvas. Now, there are many reasons why I really like Banksy's work. Firstly, for me, art full stop is at its best in the public domain. And also, I feel it's brilliant the way Banksy is a, a commentator on our modern society and his work is also aesthetically pleasing and still holds a lining of humour. So, this is what makes, these are the characteristics that make me um, like Banksy's work. So, for this reason, I don't think I even care if he's a vandal, I don't care if he's a hollow anarchist. I like his work and that's that. If I see it on the bus, if I see it in a gallery, it's still going to have the same effect on me. Uh, I was born, probably I was born, with a very strong feeling of uh, needs of freedom, liberty. And that means also with a very strong feeling of revolt. Revolt and revolution is not the same thing. But when you have this very strong feeling of uh, this need of revolt, need of freedom, and you are born into a period where so many uh, events invite you to get revolted and uh, to over what is going on in the world and be disgusted with it <coughs> and so on, <coughs> uh, it is absolutely natural that uh, the work you produce is a revolutionary work.